Hello there, it's Hillary, and welcome back for another Creative Faith video. Today, I am thrilled to be releasing a new fall kit. Oh my goodness, I am so excited about this. It's literally been a year in the making. <laughs> so I came up with this idea last year. So in fall of 2021, I was putting together a gratitude scripture writing plan. I will link that printable below if you want to pick that up. But as I was gathering and researching Bible verses about gratitude and praise and thankfulness, I realized, oh my goodness, there are so many in the book of Psalms specifically. So what I did was I pulled out all the Psalms verses from that scripture writing plan I was working on. And I thought, I want to save this and use it to create its own thing. And this image of a fall teapot came to mind and this phrase, pouring out praise. So I just loved the alliteration of it. I loved the theme and focusing on Psalms of Thanksgiving. And I have tons of really awesome tea puns. And so last year I came up with this whole idea. <laughs> And I already had two fall kits that I released last year. And so I was like, I'm going to save it and use it this year. So I have been waiting for a whole 365 days to be able to release this. And I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I love the theme. I'm so excited to jump in and use this myself as well as share it with you. I will have this whole kit linked down below in my Etsy shop. So if you want to pick up a kit, you can go do that. I assume that these will probably sell out really fast based off of I've dropped some hints on different places on my social media, my email newsletter, and the feedback I've gotten before I've even launched it has been really good. So if you are wanting one, <laughs> pick it up ASAP. Um, you can also, if you just want to get the journal, you can pick this up on Amazon. And so I'll have this journal linked down below on Amazon. So if you would like to just purchase a journal, you can do that. And I also wanted to mention too, I have a whole blog post roundup with all of my fall printables and products. So I have a fall devotion book called Pumpkin Spice and Time with Jesus Christ. So this has devotions and Bible study notes and questions and things. I have several gratitude and prayer journals. I have some that are blank, so no prompts written, but it does come with prompts at the beginning that you can pick from or cut out and glue in. I also have gratitude journals with prompts. So this one has prompts and Bible verses on each page. And then I also have a handful of fall journals that have dot grid paper that you can use for whatever you want. So I still have a few of these kits, these gratitude and prayer journal kits in my Etsy shop, and I will link that kit down below if you want to pick that up and then all of these can be found in that blog post roundup so if you want to see flip throughs and things like that go check out that blog post but i am now going to share with you all the beautiful things that come in this kit so one thing i thought would be really fun since it's a kit about tea i thought it would be neat to include a tea bag and a honey stick so how fun is that you can use these, brew a cup of tea, pull out your journal, pull out your journaling supplies, and curl up and have tea time with Jesus. How fun is that? I was really excited about this idea because time with God is terrific. <laughs> All the fun tea pens. So that you get those. Um, you get a vinyl sticker and it says enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. And I want to show you what I'm going to do with my sticker. So these are a couple Psalms journaling Bibles. This one is an kind of interleaved version that has a blank page next to it. So I did this process in Psalm 1, and actually I have this as a whole YouTube video, which I'll link down below if you want to watch that. But I thought this would be really cool to use with the script writing plan, and I thought it would be neat to put this on the cover. And then I also have this little Psalms Bible 
and I have done a lot of the pages in this. I do have a flip through of this um, that I haven't released yet, but it is available on my YouTube channel that I'll link down below. But this would be also really cute to put on the cover here. So you could use this vinyl sticker on the cover of a Psalms journaling Bible and it would just go really well together. Um, so I don't know, I might, it's sort of a folly sticker, but sort of not. I don't know. So I'm, my thought is I can use this for notes and journaling and scripturating this fall season. And I will link both of these down below on Amazon if you want to pick one up. But there is room in here for scripturating as well. But I thought it would be neat to have kind of a whole separate Bible to read the verses from. So you get a vinyl sticker. You get a washi tag. I love washi tags. And you get three fall washi tapes and you get about two feet of each of them. And they're various fall colors. So you won't necessarily get these three patterns, but all the patterns go well with the color scheme of this kit. I love keeping my washi tape on tags like this. You could add more washi tape to this if you want. When you're done with it, you could use it to wrap more washi tape. You could use it as a bookmark. You could take off this string and add a fun ribbon. So there's lots of neat ways to use that. So I love little washi cards. You get some leaf sticky notes. Uh, again, this might not necessarily be the same pattern that you get, but you'll get a handful of leaf sticky notes. So these would be great for decorating your pages or writing the scriptures on. You get a really cute paper clip, bookmarks. You can use this to mark which page you are in, in your journal, like so. Or you could use it in your journaling Bible as well to do a special page or to use as a bookmark. You get a really pretty pen. I thought this color was great and perfect for fall or any time of the year. It's really pretty cream and it matches the pouch perfectly. You'll get um, a couple fall die cuts. They, again, won't necessarily be these two particular ones, <laughs> but you'll get a couple fall die cuts to use to decorate your pages. I try and equip you with everything you need except for a pair of scissors. So my goal and plan, you can take this whole kit, put it in your pouch, grab a pair of scissors, and you are totally set for journaling. So maybe you're traveling this fall, you're going on a trip, or like me, sometimes I'll journal in bed, sometimes I'll journal on the couch, sometimes in my office, sometimes in the car while my husband's driving. <laughs> So I like to give you guys everything you need in here. So you do get a glue stick as well for adding and gluing on the sticky notes or the die cuts into your journal. You also get three pages of already printed on white sticker paper. So you won't need the glue sticks for this specifically, but you'll get three little pages of the printables. So I drew these teapot and teacup images. So those are really cute. And then this is all my hand lettering. So Jesus, you are my best tea. Time with God is terrific. Brutiful time with the Lord and his word. Quality time with the Lord. Um, Jesus, or God is the best teacher. Jesus, you're my cup of tea. So lots of fun tea puns. And these will be really pretty, again, for decorating your pages in here or in a journaling Bible. So all you have to do is cut them out and you are good to go because they are stickers. And then if you email me with your Etsy order number, I will email you the coordinating um, printable file, which I will show you in a moment. But please, you email me. Um, if you send it to me in Etsy, then I have to copy it over and it will just take a little bit longer <laughs> for me to send it to you. Also, I am a one woman show here at Creative Faith. So, and this is not my full-time job. I have a full-time job at my church and we're currently in the process of moving. So if, you know, it takes me a couple days to respond to you, please give me a lot of patience and grace. But you get these three pages printed and ready to go. 
you get an adorable cotton zipper tote. I'm very excited about these and you can totally decorate the, this. So I have a video from last year where I show different ways to decorate a cotton tote bag that one of my kits came in and I'll link that video down below. So you could stamp on it, you could paint it, you could use iron on paper. So lots of neat ways to customize this. Make sure if you are stamping or painting, you stick something between so it doesn't bleed through. But I'm really excited to customize this. I thought, oh, well, I could stamp something on all of them. But I thought, what a fun fall activity it would be to be able to customize this yourself. So the journal fits in here as well as all the goodies. So you are set to take it on the go and do some journaling. So you get a cotton tote or a cotton zipper pouch, which I'm very excited about. All right, now to show you the journal itself. So I wanted the color scheme to be similar, but different to the fall gratitude and prayer journal. So you can see they're similar colors. I used my fall floral borders and corners printable. Let's see, I'm not sure if I have it next to me. Oh, let's see, but I'll link that printable down below. So that's an additional printable that you can pick up. And it has all of the fall floral corners and borders, which make it so easy for decorating your pages. So you can see this orangey brown color scheme I used for this kit, and then the bluey yellow color scheme I used for this kit. So. If you love these fall florals, definitely, definitely pick up this printable. It comes with these bookmarks, but it also comes with just these borders and corners. And again, I love using those to decorate my pages. So here's an example. Like this page, you know, it was turned out beautiful and was very simple to decorate using the, that printable. So I love, love, love those. So definitely pick up that printable. And then on the back I put, I have hidden your word in my heart from Psalm 119. I love that Psalm. And I thought how perfect for scripture reading. So I started scripture reading in 2019 and I just really loved it. And one of the things though, I see a lot of people do scripture writing plans where you just write out the verse and that's it. But kind of my hope and goal and prayer is that you don't just write out a verse, check it off a list, close your Bible and head out the door. But I want you to reflect on it and think about what does this teach us about God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit and how will I apply it to my life? So the Bible talks about, you know, be doers of the word and not just hearers only. And so it's really important when you're doing a scripture writing plan to not just make it a thing that you do out of a habit to check it off your to-do list, but make it about spending quality <laughs> time with the Lord. So I love the layout of these scripture writing journals. I did one for Lent, a grace scripture writing journal. I have a love scripture writing journal. I just, um, at the time I'm filming this, waiting for Amazon to approve a generic scripture writing journal that doesn't have any journal or verses in here. So it's generic, so you can use it with any scripture writing plan. So um, I just really love the layout of these and how it forces you <laughs> to not just make it a check mark item, but to really encourage you to read and reflect. And you could use this side for looking up notes in a commentary. My favorite one is called the Enduring Word Commentary. It's totally free online. I absolutely love it. It's very scripture truth based because um, I think you have to be a little careful what you're, what you listen to and read. <laughs> um, and then I also love um, from Proverbs 31 Ministries, the first five app. They have 
studies for every single book of the Bible and they are really good as well. So you could look up commentary in that. I personally own the NLT illustrated study Bible. I love that Bible. I will link that down below. Definitely pick it up if you don't, but it has great study notes. You could copy those over in this section. You could also copy the verse down in different translations. You could use this to write a prayer before or after you read. So lots of neat ways to use that. At the beginning, it has pages that walk you through how to use it. It also has additional ideas to help you journal and reflect. So again, you can use these different ideas in that blank page. And then thinking about what does the scriptures teach us about God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So you can use this to reflect on that. And here's kind of a little sample page I did. And then this has all 30 verses. So you can mark them off as you go. That's really satisfying to do. And then I also left a blank page here and a blank page here. So if you wanted to create your own title page or I love starting new projects with prayer, you could use one of these pages for that. And yeah, then it just goes through all 30 verses. And then in the back, there is a spot for you to write some of your favorite verses. So that is the journal. I want to share with you the coordinating printable. So this is the coordinating printable. Again, if you email me your Etsy order number with your purchase, I'll email you this back. Or if you just want to get the journal and the printable, the journal from Amazon, the printable from my Etsy shop, that's another way to go about doing it. Or you could just pick up the printable and do this in another notebook or a Faith Happy Planner, things like that. So you get the plan, you get these reflections or these prompts here, you get a title and all the verses. So I would print this on sticker paper to make it easy, but this would be great. You could use this in your Psalms Bible if you wanted. You get a page that talks about how to do scripture writing. So thinking about, again, applying it to your life praying beforehand and not just checking it off your to-do list. I love the teapot images. So you get various different ones. Most of them have handles, but I also um, like that. And then I did this one. So it's like you're pouring like that. And again, these little phrases that are just so cute and are going to be so perfect for your journaling. This is the sticker so the vinyl sticker and a printable one of them has a border one of them doesn't a couple different sizes and um, you get this little blank version um so you can use this to write out a verse you get these little phrases and these images i turned this into a bookmark so that would be great to print on cardstock and hole punch and use that in your bible you get a couple patterned papers. These are really great because you can do a lot with them. You could use them to make a pocket in your journal. You could use them to make, um, you could punch them with, you know, a tab punch, a circle punch, a hexagon punch, use them to decorate your pages. You could turn this into a journal cover if you wanted to make your own journal for the scripture rating plan. I've done that before. So there's lots of awesome ways to use patterned papers. I also wanted to share an additional printable that you can pick up and it is verse cards. So this has all 30 verses in it and they're three by three verse cards. I thought this would be really pretty. You could use these in your journaling Bible or if you didn't want to hand write out the verses, you could use these. Um, these would also make really great memory verse cards. So you could use these in a you know put them on your mirror in your bathroom you could this would be really pretty like if you had a little piece of twine or ribbon and use little clothes pins to um, add these to this would be a great scripture memory plan for your family if you have kids or just you and your husband i need to work on memorizing more scripture so that's kind of my goal with this and i do have a youtube video in the works talking more about that as well so you got all the verses and i just think these are so pretty and then you also get some blank versions so based off of what i read i will my prayer my favorite verse god is jesus the holy spirit is so this is 
a really great printable to pick up as well. So if I were you, I would get the kit, I would get this printable, and I would get my fall floral borders and corners printable. And then you just have all these printables and coordinating printables and resources to help you work through this kit. So comment below if you are excited. I, again, have been waiting for a whole year <laughs> to talk about this, to release this. I'm really proud of how it turned out. I cannot wait to just soak up time in the Psalms. The Psalms are my very favorite book of the Bible, and I just think it is such an encouraging book to read and really be reflecting on God's faithfulness and that he is good all the time and no matter what challenges we're going through in our life there are always things to be thankful for and i love the verse give thanks to the lord for he is good his faithful love endures forever and that is my hope and goal and prayer for you this fall that you soak that up soak up his goodness praise him thank him no matter what is happening in your life i also one last thing i wanted to mention I have a gratitude journaling online course. So if you love the theme of gratitude, thankfulness, praise, definitely check out that course. I will put a coupon code on the screen here that's good through the end of October. So it's a 35% off coupon. That is a really good chunk amount off <laughs> and I will put a link down below to a video about it and stuff but it has lots of ideas for gratitude journaling which is really good for this project as well so anyways comment below if you're excited give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any creative faith videos and again um, go pick this up in my Etsy shop before they sell out. I cannot wait for us to pour out our praise to the Lord this fall. Mm -hmm.